you know where I am? Tame, at Lays Kebab Van, multiple winner of National Kebab Awards. It's only fit that the Kebab King has come down to try their mixed combo. Uh, but first things first, I just wanted to do a shout out to everyone to say thank you for watching. Um, followers, new and old, uh, all the likes, comments, shares. We see you all, like God bless, like the page has really kicked on recently, so I just felt a bit humbled and just want to say thanks. Um, yeah, it's a nice one. Right, comments good and bad as well. Like we read all the comments. All the good, the bad, the ugly, we, re we read them all. Um, now, let's get on with the business. I don't think there's been a more requested review on our page ever. Since we started, is that right Jess, isn't it? From the beginning, people have been calling us out to come here now for 18 months. Um, this is a highly requested review. I don't know a single other restaurant, kebab van, place, restaurant, whatever, that's been asked more than this. Like, we got here at quarter past six today and they were queuing. All sorts of ethnic just going on here. Okay, so here it is. This is a combo. Now, someone said to me earlier that it's um, expensive. This is a, a fairly decent portion here. I've got also no salad like I normally do. We've got donna, chicken, and lamb in a pitta with a garlic and chili sauce. And it was a tenner with a drink. Ha! We'll come to the drink in a minute. So, early impressions, guys. Really nice, thick slices of donna. The donna's really what we're after here today. Uh, it's good. It's rugged, thick. Let's dive in and give it a go. Put them on. <laughs> yeah. That was a big mouthful, by the way. Yeah. I feel like I've got goosebumps. That's the best donut meat I've ever had. Let me explain why. It's got the crust on the outside. It's like thick, but it's still got its juices in it. It's got herby flavor to it. I've never had donut meat like this before. Yeah, I'll get him on, look. All right. It's him. There he is. <laughs> it's got a beautiful flavour, texture. It's just like nothing I've had before. But the hype is real. These have won the National Kebab Awards. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed by the wait time. I think by the time we ordered, like you see now, it's a bit super busy. Uh, well, for puffs, it's just, it was a 20 minute wait, which probably turned out to be more like Probably 25 minutes, half an hour. 40 minutes. 40, you reckon? I don't think that's true. More like 25. Right, man, how's it going? However, it was Baltic, so it probably felt like longer. Um, didn't like the wait time. I'll keep my coat, I'll keep Right, let's get into the chicken. Oh, I still got a big bit of chicken there, look. Okay. Oh, sorry, soft. There's a wonderful fiery kick to this chilli sauce. So much people have chilli sauce in there and it's just like nothing. It's like absolutely nothing. This has got a kick, but it's a beautiful flavour. Uh, really, really nice. Well, Kim's going to get me them. When you're looking at these sort of places, let me find the, the other uh, lamb. It smells amazing. It really smells. It smells fantastic. There's the lamb here. There's the lamb. Look at that, look. When you get to these places that are obviously the best of the best. Mm. That's the best lamb I've had as well. There's a level where they become a slick operation. 
this is kind of a contradictory statement because the wait was long. However, I kind of liked it in a weird way. It builds theatre and then you know, you, you know they're making every order fresh. You're all right. You're all right. You know they're making every order fresh. <laughs> get him. Go on, get him. He's waving. <laughs> um, look at them all. It's a slick operation. You can see that and I respect that. These guys are very, very good at what they do. And the end, prod the end result of that is fantastic food uh, this is one of those moments <laughs> this guy's having tremendous trouble parking by the way so parking watch that's a straight 2 out of 10 should we confront her about it it's just got to move the wheel ain't you the wheel is attached to the front axle turn it Go on, let's get her on. Come on. That was a struggle, wasn't it? It's not my car. It's not your car. Okay, well, have you nicked it? Yeah, I did. All right. Sorry, I didn't just realise it was filming. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You've just got to show off your parking skills to the nation. Okay. To me, to you. No, you are. Yeah, left hand down, right hand down. It's always something that happens in the reviews, isn't there? Um, where was I, Jess? No idea. I have no idea. I feel like I'm at the top of the mountain right now, and it might even redefine what I expect from a kebab moving forward. Some of the top kebabs we were told to go to in London, Kebab Kid, Stoke Newington, were decent kebabs, but they lacked that something something. This, even with the weight, served in a polystyrene container, which I hate, it's just special. That chili sauce has given me a, a, a kick in my mouth. The donna meat is fucking sensational. The chicken is soft, uh, luxurious, like, uh, but also delicate. The lamb under here, to be fair. Let's try and get a bit, another bit of lamb. I'll show you some lamb. Look, beautifully, got a marinade all over it. Uh, soft, tender. Full of flavour. Got still got that hold though. It's just sensational. It, oh, here's a man as well. He's an absolute legend. <laughs> Local school uh, headmaster. Come down, say hello when we advertise. Now, drink watch. <coughs> Rubicorn mango made with real fruit juice. You shouldn't have to say that, should you? Um, Good selection on in the drinks fridge here, by the way, guys. However, no wine brew. Are they crackers? Like, we're very close to getting points deducted for that. However, we're gonna try and remain civil. This is a very good place. Stunning. Really nice complimentary drink for that. Now, guys. time for a score um, I was a bit nervous about doing this because sometimes you meet these people and they come to these places and you're not sure how it's gonna stack up does it live up to the hype is it just local legend is it myth is it really that good this is genuinely spectacular um, it really is and we are about uncovering these hidden gems, these places that you may or may not have heard about. And it's kind of isn't really a hidden gem. About We must have had 2,000 messages about this place. And finally, we made the two-hour drive over to review it. And it has lived up to the expectation. And I'm proud to be here standing here now for you guys. So, if you like kebabs, if you know this place, if you want to carry on supporting, give it a like, give, it a, give this video a share. To show the world what we are doing in Britain about the kebab game. Far too often we're looking around the world for um, what they're doing with food. You know, what's special, what's, what should be celebrated, but I think we've got some very special places in our shores, just like this. This is quite simply spectacular. 
for that reason, I'm gonna give this a 9.8. Sensational, I'm docking a, I'm docking a point, point 0.1 for the uh, polystyrene and also the weight, even though the weight kind of excited me because it built, built theatre and people were like greyhounds in the traps waiting to get their food uh, when they're calling out names. Even they're like, it's, the wait was so long, some people were actually faking names. Like Julia, I'd be like, yes, my name's Julia. Um, but yeah, it built theatre, I kind of liked it. Guys, there we go, there we have it, a 9.8. That is the best kebab we've had on the page. I've left a bit of room there for a 10. God knows if we'll ever get there, I don't think we will. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. I love you all, good, bad, and ugly. And tune in for the next video. And that is a record kebab review. Thank you.